Hello everyone, it is me, ya girl, Cheska, back in again with another video. And due to the recent success of my recent video, thank you so much guys for taking the time to comment down below, you know, sharing additional information. It's really helpful guys. I will take it to heart. Thank you so much. Special shout out to Tita Rosel for shedding light on some new information that I didn't know. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I now know more than I knew yesterday. That's a good song. Anyway, <laughs> um, you see this outfit that I'm wearing right now? This is to pay homage to all of the frontline workers out there, the frontliners, everyone in the hospital, doctors, nurses, pharmacists, med techs. Guys, if you don't know what med techs are, if you don't know what they do, they are clinical laboratory scientists. They run tests in laboratory. And I was forced to say this because my boss is med tech. And bitter lang siya kasi hindi siya pinaturo ng SM. Yes. Anyway, let's get on with this video, shall we? So as you can see here from my little presentation, can you focus on this, please? Because I will wipe my face. Okay, you see this? This is going to be a very short video. I will just discuss the differences between viruses and bacteria since I had a lot of requests by my Lola, only her lang. Okay, anyway, let's start. Shall we start with bacteria? First of all, bacteria belongs under the bacteria kingdom. It's a living thing, guys. It has a nucleus. It's a prokaryote. And it takes all of the checklists on our living thing checklist. Am I right? So, it belongs under the bacteria kingdom. It's a single-celled prokaryotic organism. Can be found everywhere. It can be found in your hair, in your hands. Look at your hands right now. Can you see it? No, because they are not visible to the human eye. And it does not need any host to survive, unlike the virus. And it can be easily rid off with antibodies, which has a very complex and organized system, rather than the virus, which is just, it's just there. You know, no offense, virus, if you're watching this, please go away. Anyway, a virus is not a living organism, guys. It's not a living organism, so it therefore does not belong under any kingdom, the seven major kingdoms, if you're familiar. Guys, do your assignment, na? I'm only the outliner. Hello guys, nagkamali ako, only six kingdoms pala. Haha, <laughs> sorry, pip pip, cheerio, carry on. Kayo ah, di na kayo nag-aaral. TikTok na nga. Anyway, <laughs> viruses cannot reproduce without a host cell, unlike bacteria, which can thrive by itself. I will be explaining this more later. And viruses, they have no ribosomes. See? Ribosome, here, but here, ribosome, no. <laughs> And viruses, they have no known origin. The virus, not the Ebola, the HIV, the SARS, no. The, the virus, the ultimate virus, the mother of viruses, has no exact origin. Which is why, guys, scientists theorize that viruses belonged, belong, belong to a group of uh, organisms that swam in between cells and organelles and eventually invaded them. And over time, it evolved to become the virus that we know and hate. Example, that bacteria, bacteria, virus bacteriophage. Now, this can be easily rid off with antibodies. Wait, teka lang. what's an antibody? No, hindi siya anti-presidential body. This is not politics, guys. Anyway, antibodies are produced by your body, body bodies, and they're uh, produced by the B cells that you have. They fight off viruses and bacteria too, but mostly viruses. Check it out, check it out. Check it out. Check it out, because I'm going to wash where's my tissue. Anyways. Okay, now let us talk about the structure. This, my friends, is where the real fun begins. Now, as you can see, the structure of the bacteria, since it's a prokaryote, it's just a single-celled organism, and that's it. Charot. It has been here since the beginning of time, my friends. And as you can see, my ribosome siya, and it has a nucleus. But if we go to our kapitbahay, the virus, it has no nucleus, and it has no ribosome. Teka lang, teka moment. Why do you need ribosomes? Why? Here's the thing. 
ribosomes produce the proteins of the cell, which is why they are needed by a lot of cells like plant cells, animal cells, human cells. And that's why they are considered a living thing, which is the protein maker. To my little kids watching this video, they make proteins. They make the energy. Like you, you need chocolate milk to survive. They need ribosome to survive. Which is why super important ito mga pare ko. Kasi ito wala siyang ribosome. Ito lang meron. That's why? Which is why virus needs, viruses need a whole that. cell to survive. Kaya hindi siya buhay. Okay? Huwag na kayo umasa. It's dead. Mm. Tapos, the final thing that I'll be talking about today, today is the cure. The cure. The cure. Now, bacteria can be easily rid off with antibiotics, which is a medicine, something that you take whenever you feel body pain, or di ba, mga ganun, antibiotics, or infection, mga infection, bacteria infection. Yeah. yeah. And ang virus naman, it can be easily rid off with antibodies. It's what our bodies produce. So we have it organically, siya. natural, all fresh, all good. But sometimes our bodies are not strong enough to fight off the virus. So we have to take vaccines. Vaccines. Vaccines? What are vaccines? That's for our next video. But anyway, guys, antibodies are produced by the B cells in your body. They are a Y-shaped uh, cells. They're Y-shaped organisms produced to fight off viruses. But antibiotics cannot fight off viruses. They can only fight off bacteria. Just to clarify, antibiotics cannot fight off viruses, okay? Your body produces antibodies to fight it off. Kaya guys, if you hear someone telling you na, guys, take this med take this antibiotic to get rid of the COVID, not true. Or take this antibiotic to get rid of HIV. Not true again, guys, because we have antibodies already in our bodies. So, namaste at home and peace out. Don't forget to wash your hands, wash your sweat, wash your face, wash everything, okay? We can, we have to flat line the curve, flat line, the curve. flatten the curve, okay? Stay at home. Manood ko ng Netflix, crash landing on you, tapos panoorin niyo ulit, okay? Do, I do a, do a review about it, all right? Anyway, guys. Let's do a quick recap. Viruses, not a living thing, cannot reproduce without the host cell, has no ribosome, no known origin, and can be easily rid off with antibodies. Structure is just simple, only with internal proteins, because again, they have no ribosomes. Bacteria, plural bacteria, singular bacterium, belongs under the bacteria kingdom. A single cell prokaryotic organism can be found everywhere, does not need any host to survive has a much more organized system and can be easily rid of with antibiotics. Structure, nucleus, ribosomes, unlike the virus, and DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid. Ha! Sorry, I made you proud, mom. See? Um, DNA. Mm, okay. deoxy. Anyway, guys, this mm -hmm. is it. Cheska Rojas signing off. Stay safe, stay at home, wash your hands, puet, kasi mabako. Goodbye! <laughs> Again, guys, wash your hands, your butt, your face. And when you go out to take the trash, for example, or go out to get your daily dose of vitamin D under any circumstances, do not touch your face. I repeat, do not touch your face. This is a direct order from your commander. Do not touch your face. Go your home. Eyes. Your eyes, anywhere in your body. Go home. Wash it with Safeguard. Hashtag sponsored. Joke lang, not sponsored. <laughs> wash your hands. With joy, with safeguard, with soap, ano ba naman yun? I don't care. Basta under any circumstances while you're outside, do not touch your face. Unless naka gloves ka, or si Mr. Clean ka, or si Clorox ka, si Gego lang. But again, wash your hands, face, wet hair. Okay guys, bye!